Can one man save the world in a thousand years? Will Welcome back, America. I'm Hugh Hewitt inside the Beltway. If you've been thrilled by this song, having heard it on Fox and Friends yesterday or on my show yesterday or over the weekend, you know that John Androzik took a trip to Ukraine, to Kiev, and recorded this brand new anthem with the Ukrainian National Symphony, and he joins me this morning. Good morning, John. How are you? Hugh, always great to see you. It's always great that you get up early to talk to me. I appreciate it. Musicians just do not get up early, but John does. John, uh, this is a thrilling song. I heard it first at the uh, Save Our Allies event in Washington, D.C. I have replayed it many, many times. Will you tell people the backstory? How did this come to be? Ironically, it started with Afghanistan. Um, as you know, Hugh, I wrote a song about the withdrawal that quickly found me embedded with many of the NGOs rescuing our allies that we abandoned. And when, one of them that I came across was this group, Save Our Allies, incredible organization started by a woman, Sarah Verado, who has a catastrophically injured husband and uh, three or four special forces, Green Berets. They got 12,000 people out in 10 days, uh, which is just amazing. And we became friends and we were doing some work for our Afghan vets when Ukraine uh, broke out. And I'd written this song, Can One Man Save the World? And I was going on a string quartet tour. So I was arranging the song for my string quartet. And I had a thought of, why don't we go to Poland and play this song with the Polish orchestra to, to recognize Poland's incredible role in, in taking refugees. And I called my Save Our Allies friends. I said, how about we do this? They said, let me call you back. They called me back a couple days later. They said, how would you like to do this with the orchestra in Ukraine? And I was stunned. I didn't know if they were serious. I said, do they even exist? Turns out they kind of did. They were scattered. But, but long story short, two weeks later, I got an email in my inbox with a plane ticket to Krakow. I had a long talk with my wife. Uh, <laughs> long talk. Drove to the airport. <laughs> yeah, long talk. Uh, drove to the airport the next day, and, and two days later found myself in Kiev preparing to film this video at uh, the, the, uh, the, the Maria, the plane that Putin destroyed at the outset of the war. Yeah, you know, John, I have uh, forever changed my view of, of orchestras because of something you and Carla told the fetching Mrs. Hewitt and I when we were visiting in California. So watch Mozart in the Jungle. And what it does for people who are not orchestra members is is take you inside the lives of the musicians who provide symphony to us and obviously people like you five for fighting uh i know and i understand your life but i don't understand the lives of classical musicians i now believe there is a movie to be made about those musicians who are backing you up on this song uh because they all came from somewhere in I, hiding right they're just amazing courageous artists Yes, they were. You know, our translator there, her, her brother had been on the front for 11 days. Uh, she had not heard from him, from him. Every one of those orchestra members has a story like that. They either lost what loved ones or they knew somebody who lost loved ones. And for them to come from across the country and to sit there in front of that plane and play, I think expresses the fortitude and heroism and spine of all the Ukrainians. And you're right, Hugh, um, to see them in this video. There was a moment when we were recording one of the takes. Uh, I saw the corner of my eye, uh, uh, an entourage of military folks coming over. It was one of the generals that approved us to, sh to film in this location. And the orchestra just kind of stood up and the general said, please play me the song. And they took flight and they were playing with vigor and passion. The general took out his phone and started filming them. They were crying. By the end of the song, I'd lost it. And there was this moment of silence that really kind of s spoke to while we were there, this common humanity expressing through music, uh, a support of an American and Ukrainians, and the fact that they're fighting for their survival. And it all kind of hit home, but you're right. There's a, music has a unique way of permeating borders. And one of our goals is to get this into Russia so the Russian people understand that they are pariahs. Oh, oh, what a great idea. I hope that Elon Musk hears this or sees the video, which is over at fiveforfighting.com. Just go and watch the video. You can hear the song and be moved, but you have to watch the video. And we play it on the Salem News Channel yesterday. We'll play it again tomorrow. We'll play it and we'll play it because I want people to be moved by it. And the video, uh, just play a little bit for us right now, uh, Generalissimo, so people can hear the 
orchestra in the back, and now they will be in the front of your mind. Does freedom still have appetite? Is there the will, the guts to fight? Can a single flame light up the night? I don't know. Yeah, buddy. So people are hearing the orchestration. First of all, did you do the orchestration for this? Well, in the backseat of a van on our tour, I kind of sketched it out and together oh. me and my amazing MD, Katie Kresick did it. But uh, yeah, to, to see their faces and, and it's, uh, and to be in that location, it was just surreal, Hugh. I mean, it was a war zone still. I mean- Oh, it still, still is. They struck yesterday yeah, in yeah. I, I, I gotta ask you, it just doesn't happen, all right? You just don't show up in Ukraine and say, bring me the Ukrainian National Symphony and let's go to the Maiden and let's, uh, uh, in a dangerous place. I mean, Putin would have killed you if he'd known you were there. Uh, and you don't do it in one take. It's got to take, I don't know how many takes it took. Tell me just about the, the actual mechanics, John Androzik. People can watch it at Five for Fighting, but how did it happen? It was a series of miracles, but basically save our allies has uh, uh, an operator there named Sea Spray. He is an American hero. He went to Afghanistan, uh, lost 30 pounds in 30 days. He went to Ukraine. He is the individual who personally rescued Benjamin Hall, the Fox News reporter that was severely injured. He has a unique relationship with the Ukrainians and President Zelensky himself uh, approved us doing this. Sea Spray vouched for me. He, he understood what we were doing, but, uh, but uh, we always, thought that this is not going to happen. Uh, even it rained the morning the, the orchestra showed up. So we're, oh my God, it's raining. But uh, but the symbolism of, of that location was what it's all about and the Ukrainian people. And I still can't believe it happened. I'm grateful it did. Um, and we're calling for a larger mission than this video. We're calling for a global concert, a live aid type concert for Ukraine. Um, back in the day, artists got together on big issues and made a statement. And we need a cultural front on this war. There's an economic front, a political front, but we need a cultural front. So this is just step one of bigger things to, to put the pressure on Russia culturally. And hopefully this video is uh, a small piece of that. Artists who are listening, how do they, uh, you know, Bono is no doubt listening this morning. How do they find you, John? If they want to be part of that concert for New York, but concert for Ukraine, how do they do that? They can email me at fiveforfighting.com. There's an email address. They can reach out to me on Twitter. They can call my agents at Wasserman. They can just say it on the news, and I will be the first person at their door being grateful. We need the big guns. You know, we need Springsteen. We need Bono. Paul McCartney just turned 80. My man is going strong. The concert for New York, he that was his idea. So he... Uh, He's a leader in this. And, and then we need the Gagas, the Ariana Grandes. We need everybody. And uh, I think it can be a powerful salvo in this war. Um, as you know, Hugh, uh, the prognosis is not great for, for Ukraine right now. Um, they are being devoured slowly. 20% of Ukraine is now controlled by Russia. And if there's not a game changer, I fear that it's going to be two years from now, the Polish border and our kids, our soldiers, who are going to be having to fight this war. We have to stop it now. Now, I am an optimist that American public opinion is going to oblige an increase in arms flow. But as the late Andrew Breitbart used to say, politics is downstream from culture. Culture uh, will keep Ukraine at the front of mind as opposed to back of mind, rather than, oh, not, I hope they're doing well. No actual involvement. You mentioned Sea Spray. He features prominently in Tim Kennedy's uh, memoir, Scars and Stripes, which I finished reading over the weekend. And Sea Spray's an amazing guy. He's all in, right? Now, you can't be more all in than Sea Spray was in Afghanistan and is in Ukraine. And not everyone can do that, but everyone can do music, enjoy music, and make a donation. But they got to know it's going to the right people. Right. No, thank you. Save our allies. Again, I saw it firsthand. 
I literally saw the pallets of humanitarian aid. They are one of the few organizations that can get the aid to the front, to the cities in the front. It's very, you can get it to Kyiv, but it's hard to get it out to the east where they really need it. They do that, they track it. They do it for the right reasons. Nobody's getting rich on this thing from these folks. So every penny that goes to save our allies truly makes a difference um, for freedom in the world. And really that's what we're fighting for. It's a tipping point in history. You know, I don't wanna be in Taiwan two years from now writing songs. So uh, I think everything's riding on this and, and Save Our Allies is a good place to go. We failed our allies and friends in Afghanistan. We have not failed our allies and friends in Ukraine, but we can do more. And a concert for Ukraine is something that every artist ought to be clamoring with John to get done. And John, come back and update us in a week. In the meantime, head over to fiveforfighting.com and send that video everywhere. And if you know somebody who knows somebody who knows somebody who would be involved in the concert for Ukraine, tell them we need to get that. Or what, what would be the best venue for that? You can't put it in Ukraine because Putin will kill it because uh, he will. You know? be, yeah, it needs to be in Poland. Poland has been the champs of this. And to all your audience, please share the video. If you know high influencers, the only way this works is if the world sees this video. So everybody matters. Everybody counts. It needs to be in Poland. Thank you, Hugh. You are the greatest. And, uh, you know, we share the same mind and same heart. And uh, I love you and Betsy. So thank you. Thank you, John. Our best to Carla. And everybody go over to fiveforfighting.com and watch this. And, you know, I, I, and thank you, John.